Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a really simple uh, macrame style bracelet using some rounds and some seed beads and uh, a very beautiful slider bracelet component. Right, so I'm going to start by talking you through um, the materials. Right, this is what we're going to be needing today. So we've got our 8-0 rounds and then we've got some 6-0 rounds. So these are great for the central part of the bracelet, um, but again, any other size of, of beads will actually work as well. And for the actual outside section, I've used some 2mm silver um, gold-plated sterling silver beads, which are these ones here. Um, code is MBGP75. These are great for um, decorating on the outside, fringe work, or even just a space of beads. I really like using them. And then we've got um, a beautiful little slider bracelet, which is really easy to use as well. You can open and pull these very easily. really like using them. They're very easy to put on as well. Um, and then for our tools, we have a pair of scissors. We're going to need to cut the thread now for our beading thread i've used wildfire uh, 0.2 millimeter but really anything works um you could probably even get away with some very fine um macrame cord i think we've got the 0.3 which actually works really really well for that as well um and then i'd like to use um just some normal needles to keep things pinned down and then lastly uh one of our small macrame boards um, which we obviously have on our website quite often so this is what it looks like and I'd recommend to have one handy for for any project really because um, I use them for just about everything that I have uh, that I work with um, all right so let's get started so I'm going to set aside and I'm going to set up for the project all right so I'm going to start by showing you what we're going to be doing with the ends here okay so in order to create this sort of design you need to attach uh, beading thread to the end of the bracelet for that you can either attach a tiny little jump ring like I've done here or you can go directly through the loop that is provided um, I just like to add a jump ring to the ends just in case something breaks so that I can then easily replace it um, so I tend to add jump rings to connections rather than to attach directly. Okay, so for that, to attach the macrame bit, we're just cutting a piece of our, of our beading thread. Um, you can, as I said, also use the very fine 0 0.3 macrame cord for that. So I'm just going to feed a section through the jump ring. Probably about um, 50 centimeters is enough, like so and then we are just going to use that section here and feeding it onto our macrame board just being very careful not to actually pull too hard we don't want to damage anything so we're going to attach that and next i'm going to pick up take some of our two millimeter beads here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add these two legs together and I am just feeding on one of the beads onto both legs at the same time. And this kind of stops. And I like to usually close this off with a two overhand knots. Basically just the same sort of knot that you use to tie your shoelaces. And that is the first section created. Okay. So the next step is we're going to take this end here and I'm going to fold this over. I've actually got it on a beading mat here so that you can see the, the different color. So I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to take the end of the cord and attach it to the board nicely so that I'm going to slide this up so that I have a little bit of room to work with. Usually I use something a little bit finer like you know a roll of, of cord or something like that that'll fit um so that means that i've got now space to work underneath it and i'm going to take another piece of my uh wildfire and i'm going to it's roughly again the same size about 
50 centimeters maybe 60 it's just a matter of being comfortable and having enough length you're never going to need all of that length I just tend to go a bit longer than I actually needed to so what we're going to do now is we're going to attach this with a square knot so I'm going to come from the left hand side create like a reverse D uh, and then come over from the right and feed that cord underneath it or rather the thread and pull it out towards the left and then pull that tight and then to complete the knot we need to do the reverse we're going to come from the right hand side first so create like a D going over the core and then come with the left hand thread feeding it underneath everything and pulling it out towards the right now it's quite important that you do the opposing knotting because if you do not um, it starts to create a spiral knot and it will start to spiral now actually I should have added the beads before I added attach the cords at the bottom so I'm going to do that um, so we've used three now this technique can be used for a full bracelet if you want um, you do not have to actually attach it to the uh, the bracelet finding you can very simply do this without just do a full bracelet um, and then attach findings later on that's also a possibility so I'm going to feed this through and again you can also use if you have seed beads instead of the um, the sterling silver beads again it's a very versatile pattern um, and you can use whatever you have on hand if it's of similar size um, cord thread or anything of the likes okay so now this is attached okay so we've got our cords attached and our beads in place so what we need to do next is add on seed beads on either side of these threads <clears throat> so I believe for the first section I've got about seven so I'm just going to count them again so it's one two three four six seven that's eight okay so I'm just very quickly going to feed on beads on either side right so i've added eight beads on either side and this should be enough to um, actually go around this bead here okay so what i'm going to do first i've also added um, a bead in between each of these rounds um, so i'm going to shift these up and what we're going to do next is we're going to tie these cords just pretty much like we did in the beginning with a square knot around this bead okay so i'm going to take the cord from the left cross it over our core and then coming in with cords from our right and feeding it underneath everything as we did before and we are just going to pull this tight. remember it's very important that you now come back and you can actually see if it fits around there should be a little bit of a gap at the bottom and um, so those beads fit perfectly and then it's important to remember you're coming from the opposing side um, when coming back tie the knot here we go and if it's gone loose doesn't matter you can just gently come back in and adjust sometimes the beads slip and slide it's a little bit fiddly until the second knot is tied and then pull this tight so this is now tied in place so that's a square knot now if you wanted to you could tie several more square knots I just wanted to keep it neat and tidy and um, so I've just done one knot and then what I've done next is I've brought in one of the smaller beads I'm going to do exactly the same thing and I'm going to encase it with a square knot and that just allows for a tiny bit of spacing but not too much and it's a little bit of a visual touch as well just a little dot of color in between these beautiful agates so we're going to pull these tight and you can see this encases the bead so now you repeat exactly the same thing with the remaining two seed beads and the remaining two rounds right so we've attached the remaining seed beads around the rounds and the small seed beads in between now for the last one we're just going to leave it as is so that it looks exactly the same as on this side so what we're going to need to do next is detach gently the bracelet from the macrame board and bring in the other side with the other 
loop end or the jump ring. What we're going to do next is, in this instance, I'm going to use my pin, go through the one end with the needle. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the two ends with the seed bead on it. So the cords that we have used or the, the thread that we have used to attach, we're going to ignore those for now. And we're going to take one leg where the seed is attached. I'm going to go through the jump ring like so. And all I'm going to do is tie an overhand knot and do two or three those and that will attach everything in place okay so what you need to do next is bring in your pair of scissors and sharp ones as well these are Fisca scissors very fine tips and they're great for for trimming into very hard to reach areas i really like using them you need to come in and trim this off like so. Now what I like to do on occasion with my cords generally is uh, once I've cut them you see loose little ends like so. I then come in with a lighter to singe these ends. Not only will it get rid of the unsightly little ends but it also melts them and it stops anything from unraveling. So I would then now you know, bend these out of place. You can see how there's little cord ends and then I would singe them off with my lighter and that is how you create so then arrange these beads around the actual design and this is how it would look so that's how easy it is to make this design i hope you enjoyed this and um i can't wait to see your designs thanks